<laughs> okay, now in 2.3 we have function and other things, and you, you learned about function before. But here we can add the concept of the function in the call one with a discrete sets here. We make a function. So give me the definition of the function, Yalla. You are you are passing call one, call two, and you have you face many type of functions. Just give me the simple definition. Yes? something That's it, good. What else? Okay, so how about mathematical definition? They're, they're, all they are right. We have an input, we have a given output, something, domain range, the same. Okay. What's the definition? Do for independent, dependent, exactly. What else? Thank you. Now we are energy, I can see. Yalla day. Okay. So give me the specific definition now. Is everything, is every input and output function? No. So, what's the difference between yes and no? You say yes and no. Yeah. Sometimes yes, sometimes no. Yes. Thank you, yes. So now we have what? We have a function exactly for each. Now we have a two things, domain, x, a, range, y. We need to say what? For each x, uh, for each, now you know what's the meaning of for each x belong to the set. For example, I have one, two, three, what else? Then there exists a unique. So that one means that each element in the domain should have one or single assign, not double. For example, I have a, b, c, d. This one is called function. Yes. Why? Because... Each element here has got one relation. So generally speaking, if you have two relations here like that, that one is called a relation, is not called a function. Okay? Ah. Understood. Good. Now, here's the definition. Now, of course, during the exam, I don't say define the function. It's not my duty. It's not your duty. But you need to understand the concepts. Because later we are going to use sometimes called mapping or transformation. And here is it. You can see we have a two sets, maybe discrete. This is set A. Let me call that a set A. And that one is set B. So now we have a more concepts. Function, codomain, range. What's that one? Domain. So what's that? So function is that. Domain, you know. Is the input one, right? The given one. Codomain is the general range. So tell me about the codomain of B and range of B. Or if I have this function, let me call that one as a function, all of them as F. So tell me about domain of function. I say is equal to set of A. Am I right? Okay. So give me the codomain. Codomain of function is equal to what? Is equal to b. Now give me a range of function equal to what? I know. No. A b c f is equal to a b c f y. So in Kurdish we have a domain. Range and codomain, as like that. Domain her domain plane boar, codomain boari baramba, range is moda. So what's the difference between domain and codomain? Codomain and range, sometimes they are equal, sometimes no. How? If all elements related has got a relation, it's called codomain. Or if, even they they don't have it. The other side generally called codomain. Okay? But if, if you ask me about the range, I see all these elements that they have a relation. Now you know what's the difference between sometimes they are equal, sometimes no, depends on the function. Now you know the difference. Yeah, so it's they are range. Otherwise, generally codomain. For example, I say f of x from a, a real number to real number, look, 
Now, f of x equal to what? x squared. So if you ask, if I am asking you about the domain, domain is clear, is what? All real number, right? So domain of this function, all real number, okay. How about range of, uh, codomain of the function? Codomain also is clear, it's all real number. How about range of the function? Yalla. Day. X square over. I'll get what? I'll do, I don't get as negative, right? But I will get zero and two. So the codomain, oh, sorry, the range is what? Is a zero to infinity. And the result? All these elements that I will get it. Uh -huh. Look at the graph. In the given, I'm going to change it to the uh, green. The given is codomain. But the shadow by the yellow is range. Understood now? Good. Any question about these concepts? It's easy. So that's an example to understand. We have a name and things. It's not important, actually. That one is also because we, we, we bring that one. Now, this is the example. Maybe you like it. Look, I have a function. If I give any digit, any bit, any bit to it, megabyte, any, any byte, then I will, I will get what? Two digits, last two digits. For example, if I say, if I say my function is f of one to five, sorry, there is no two five in computer. If I say one zero, one one zero, one one, the function will give me what? Last to 20, one one. Understood? So here's my question. What is the range? Yalla. I have a function. If you input, it's a computer's question. Yalla. If I put anything, if I put anything, any byte to it, it will give me the last two digits. So tell me about the range. Range of this function is equal to what? Yes. Zero, zero. 0, 1, 1, 0, and 1. Why? Because if I give any things, yeah, the output just will be that, right? Can you imagine? Do you have any more numbers here? Any? No. Because if I put anything, I will get the same. So, for example, if I put 0, 0, I will get what? 0, 0. If I have 1, 0, 0, also I will get 0, 0. If I have 0, 1, the same. Am I right? How about if I change that one to 1? I'll get 0, 1. How about that one? I'll get 1, 0. How about 1, 1? I'll get 1, and that's all that I'll get. Understood? So the range is something that you will get it. Not that you, you will have it. The function is what? The function f size the last two bits تن ها دو بیت که خیلی تیاته. So چی این پوته که این پوته که؟ بدلی خو. پرسیاره که میگم رنج که چی؟ شما رنج کامنت پرسید. امیدت پرسیم رنج که چی؟ میشه الان بدلی خو رقم داخل که وانیا بايت مبر بدلی خو هر چنین کمی. صفر 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 یک صفر وانیا. با پیام نقشه چند میاته؟ یک. تا باش. یک برادر که دلیل نیست. اما فکر با صفر یک. آخرویی چند میاته نقشه که؟ Zero. Then you tell them what you have. What do you have? Yeah. Then you tell them what you have. What do you have? Zero. 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 What do you have? Zero. 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 What do you have? Zero. 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 Now, this is the right. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Possibility that you get things. Exactly. I'm going to string. I'm going to do that. Define string to that. Yeah. Yeah. String to that. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not going to be able to. Say domain or range of a shika. Yeah. Because back up. To the Yarmatim and Bazubri, Yalla. Help me to, to go home soon. Okay. Yeah. We have Z, Z is integers. Negative 5, 6, 0, positive 1, 2, 3. And we have what? Also the range, sorry, codomain Z. So tell me about the range. Down here is your function, careful. 
Here's your function. I will get what? Zero to infinity. Tamam. Positive infinity. Positive. Yes. R. Only even numbers. Well, I don't. They say that. I'm just repeating. I'm just. I have an equal. You know, it's equal thing. Yeah. Zero, two, four. Okay. So you will get complete squares number. Why? What I have? Mm -hmm. I have f. Okay. From z to z. So z may be negative. And the function is what? x squared. So if I put a negative, for example, if I put negative 2, I don't have a negative 5, a square root of 5. No. I have a just only negative, for example, 5. I'll get what? 25. How about 2? 4, right? How about, and go on. How about 0? I'll get 0. How about 1? I'll get 1. How about again 2? I'll get 4. So the output, only the 2, 1, 4. There is no 2 here, you know? In the output, there is no 2. Can you find 2 for me? No, because we have a Z. Input is what? Input is a Z. The machine or the factory that you have, you give him 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, right? And 0, negative 1, negative, and like that. You don't have a real. If I change this example to that example, look. Now, you are right. Yes, you are right. Why? Now I have all things. I'm going to give the, for example, my function is equal to x squared. For example, I can input square root of 2. Am I right? Square root of 2 will give you 2. So 2 exists here. Not like a previous one. Because here the input is discrete numbers. 0, 1, 2, 3. 0, negative 1, 2, 3. You got it, dears? Can you distinguish between these? So the given is something. The out will, if, if you change the given, of course, right? If I, if I give the tomato and the can to the machine, will give me the one, yeah? the tomato paste, right? If I give the cucumber, it's not accepted because we are, our machine is like that. But the same thing is true for here. We give the one, two, three. So I'm going to give, get what? Zero, one, two, three. No, I'll get 0, 1, 4, 9, and go. So that's why he mentioned that in this example, you will get a complete squares or perfect squares numbers. I'm going to leave this one for you in the Java statement or C++. We have a float. You know it's a float. We'll give you the real numbers, right? If we give the real numbers, we'll, I think it will make it a floor, means I make it an integer. Am I right? It's like that? So that's why the code domain and the Range is the what is the integer. Okay, that's enough for today. Let me stop.